Hey, welcome back to Game Does Play Games, where we watch you watch us play games. How uncanny would that be? Just like... <laughs> I guess... Any questions? <laughs> like we're right behind the whole time, they're like, hey, you're watching us right now. <laughs> the future of Let's Plays. Yeah, Let, let's watch you Let's Plays. Do you think that streaming will someday have something like that? Where it's like you can see the audience just like kind of pop in with like their face cam? I could see it with if you, if we end up with a heads up display in, in our own optical. Ooh, yeah. Science. I'm like, I'm so in for that. Although I think that we need to have self-driving cars before we can move on to technology like that. Yeah. Which we probably will in all reality because those have been worked on more than... I mean, we already own. technically have self-driving cars. They're just not reliable. They they need refining. Yeah, and they also need to there. be hey. <laughs> they also need to be um, accepted into the general consumer. Like they need to actually be at least like corporations need to be able to take uh, like be able to accept them before they're going to uh, let the gas industry die out or whatever the case. Is. That's definitely part. You hear of about it. the new battery? No. Uh, what is it? I love this song. Uh, there's a, I forgot what company it is, but they, uh, have a new battery that they claim that they're going to come out with next year, end of 2018, I think it is. That's supposed to have five times the life cycle of our current car batteries and charge in six to seven minutes. Whoa! So... That's huge! If I mean, if it's true and can hold up, yes. I mean, electric cars. That's it. Even outside of cars themselves, that's kind of a breakthrough. Looks like I might have underestimated ya, Cupface. <laughs> you gave it to them that is food. <laughs> Cupface. <laughs> I like Cupface. <laughs> Go over to the next island. Lots of fun times waiting for you there. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> Not natural. Inkwell Island 3. You ready? You ready? You ready? I'm... You ready? Oh. Oh. The little mugs have some fight in them, I'll say that much. They're making mincemeat out of them datas. <laughs> you see, I knew there was something special about those fellas. Well, don't be sure just yet, boss. I think there's something fishy about those two. <laughs> don't blow your wig dice. If those two little finks try anything, I'll be waiting. Oh, 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 oh. The but like, thing on his shoulder going, yeah, shut up, I didn't say you could laugh. But, like, how come just once can't the devil just actually, like, be true to his word? Be like, yeah, all right. You're free. <laughs> you did you did my dirty work. I'll let you off. Well, I don't know how much you know about the lore of the devil, Chris. <laughs> all I'm saying is... So, we are in a new area. We are in Inkwell Island 3, my favorite area. It's like the city, but it a beach. Pirate? Six. Yeah. Duh. Are the pirates gonna gonna assault the carnival? <laughs> You're gonna need some tips if you want to kill all these deadbeats. Start me mixing up your weaponry. Can't expect all your arms to work the same on every foe. Mix and match, lead and lovers. That's what I say. I mean, like if you haven't figured that out by now, I'm surprised you made it to Inkwell Island yeah, Three. It is very a very mood point. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of like yeah, we love we figured that out. Cool, so we have two choices, and uh, this is a... Uh, a boat? That is a boat. We're going to go to this one over here first, because I want to show you the thing that I want to show you, you, and I need to a... be able to beat the house first. You are actually fighting a building? I'm not, but you're going to see why it is what it is in a second. Is this the scientist? Rumor honey bottoms in Honeycomb Herald. Honeycomb Herald. Yeah, okay, wait. Uh, let's uh, do this one. Yeah. Well, Ooh. yeah, we'll try, we'll try these out, and uh, uh, yeah, we still have a lot of other charms we can unlock still. Yeah, I mean we've pretty much gone mostly weapons at this point, so. Mm -hmm. Um, Mr. King Dice. <laughs> oh, I think I've seen a little bit of this boss. Why are you telling me once again how to change my weapons? Ah, ah, yeah, ah no. It way. seems like it's doing that every single time yeah. we, we oh, reset Jesus. the game. <laughs> the B-boss. This is kind of cool. 
so now Shit, they're son. throwing. Okay. All right. I was just showing you what he can do. Oh, I see. Yeah. yeah. Is she gonna eat you? Um. Duh. I don't know, man. Okay, so he throws out mines that spit out spikes. <laughs> the suitcase can damage you. So really, it's just like, in a weird way, this almost feels like uh, the halfway point between a boss battle and the um, the like uh, run and gun levels. Except this is vertical. Yeah, it reminds me a lot of the dragon, except for obviously. Oh, the, the suitcase, suitcase doesn't cannot. hit you. That's kind of nice, actually. Shit, shit, Whoa! Shit. Okay, I made it. Whoa! All right, nice. cool. First, first stage gone. Yeah, you get out of here. You know, I feel like I was able to kill him very, very quickly. Uh, before, so I'm wondering if it's that I was using a, a more efficient weapon last time. Ah! Whoa! Ah. What the hell? Yeah, so this is where. Remember, I was like saying like things get a little occulty. Uh, yeah, this is ah, like dick. a shape from the ethereal plane. I mean, I guess like there were a lot of strange, like occultish things in a lot of old school cartoons. Yeah, like even Betty Boop had a lot of like satanic stuff going on. even not even satanic but like straight up cult stuff um uh, i i remember seeing a um I, I lost you for a second there um because i'm superman ah she's doing everything at once now <laughs> you're pretty good man ah, I'll give you, uh, shit. was that you're near saying? the end yeah i think so oh you were only beginning wave three yeah so i'm not using Good weaponry against her. Mm. The lob's all right, because I mean, you would think because since the stage is always moving up, that m shooting things downward would be pretty good. Mm. I think it's probably honestly just we're gonna go this and the homing. Maybe it was maybe it was Game Theorist that I saw this, which I don't usually go to them for my trivia information. But uh, <laughs> th some channel was talking about how uh, old school cartoons. Um, there was even, like, a Betty Boop where... Maybe it was... Oh, it was, a, it was like, Betty... The, the character that came before Betty Boop, um, went God through some, like, big occult thing where they were all trying to convert him into the cult. And it was kind of fucked up. Um, really neat. And they just, like, wore him down until he finally joined the cult in the end. And then they just, like gave him infinite Betty Boops and was just like, your reward for joining the cult is, is infinite like women. infinite women in paradise. And and it was like, the message of the cartoon was like, join a cult, it'll make you happy. All right. Well. It was like, wow, this is kind of messed up, especially for kids to be watching. But that definitely makes me want to go back and uh, find and, and watch some of these old school cartoons fall. because I'm curious. It's like a history lesson all in itself. Man, I feel like this guy has a lot more health than he used to. Maybe I'm crazy. I mean, you could also get good. Mm. It's I possible they've updated that. it. I'm pretty sure there was an update, but I didn't think it had to do with anything with like changing it's... the bosses. I know that they changed a weapon or two. Oh, really? Yeah. Was it just like... Was... Oh, I think it was mostly kind of the Ultra. That. I don't remember what it was. Yeah, I, I remember them saying that the Ultra, they they realized it was broken, like it was too powerful. Yeah. Um, which, that, that makes sense. I, I imagine there was a, a sort of combo wombo where it was too effective at, at beating bosses. Yeah. I wonder what it was. I, I wonder what ability, because like, there's not any single power that I'm like, oh, this is definitely the, this is the one. This is the only one you always use, no matter what. What's what's the super number three? Um, it is crazy, actually, and and very difficult to use. You channel in your ear, inner spirit, basically, is what they say. Like it's a combination of mind or spirit and body, and you uh, you summon like a really like monstrous version of yourself that you move around with. It's really hard to explain. It's like it looks like it's like uh, it looks like a ghost version of you. So it's probably not that one that was broken. Maybe it was probably just the, the first one, since you can kind of almost take out one full wave of, of most bosses with that one. 
maybe the earlier bosses. But regardless, it's it's pretty powerful. And if you have a good way of charging it really quick, I could see that being broken. Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> I like that the way that they tell you where she's gonna pop up is her finger just it's like whoop. <laughs> so you know, right here. <laughs> ah. Fuck. There's a ledge there I grabbed onto. So you fun thing about this, you forever. can do this. Ready? Wait, shit. I messed up. <laughs> Did you see that? Where you just like kept ah. parrying it yeah, I, before you even jumped off of it? Yep, parried. Oh god, no, no. I mean, that's I a good way to, to uh, get that uh... the, the quadruple <laughs> yeah. one. That you, yep, that's exactly how I did it. I actually did it before I even met him. <laughs> or, no, wait, that's not true. I, I must have did it against something else, but uh, there's, there's another thing that you can like parry off of multiple times. You know, I guess it's kind of weird that her head can actually detach. come off. <laughs> detach. Yeah, you don't really think whoa, about it. Whoa! Yeah. Oh shit, she's even reading out the uh, spellbook, Necronomicon shit. I think. Whoa. I think actually. Holy shit! What? <laughs> this is. This is where the lob would have come in handy. <laughs> yes. <laughs> uh. Whoa! Whoa! You're good at juking, man. I I think that's maybe where I'm weakest at, with Cuphead is I don't use my dodge Ow, effectively. Oh, forgot that was a thing. Wow, damn. Oh shit, I forgot which super I was using. Well, it's okay, buddy. Oh, this is the first level that it really, um, you could really benefit from using the like jump down through platforms. Oh, nice. She's about to use the saw, and I was not prepared. Yeah, how do you dodge the saw? Do uh, you just have to move on the... You have to be on the other side of the screen. She actually gets a... Um, it's like one of those attacks that you will get hit by the first time, mm. but once you know how she revs up for it, you can get out of the way. I, I don't think that's inherently bad because, I mean, most mm. attacks, you're not really going to know what's happening until it happens mm -hmm. for the first time. Not most. I, there's only a few attacks in the game, actually. There's that, there's the ship... The, the, the ship laser. Mm. Oh, wait, have we fought the ship yet? I don't know. I don't think we have. I I love I love the ship. Hmm. All right. So, uh, how much time do we have left in this? Three minutes. Cool. That's enough time to show you the thing. Okay. Cool. So, uh, you can can you hear the music? Yeah. Okay. It's like New York. Yeah. Ah, like that Wolfgang school. always taking notes to expression. No, whatever he says. <laughs> he has no conception of what I mean by less is more. I know you agree with me. Go convince that tin-eared clock. He won't listen to me anymore, so I'm supposed to go this way, right? Mm hmm And I was a curious little player. I was like, oh, okay, cool, a boss up here. Cool, a boss up here. Oh, look at that guy up there. Maybe that's who he's talking about. I wonder what's over here. Oh, look at that. <laughs> oh, look at that. They, they love giving the little shortcuts. I guess, like, it's it's nice on, in the sense of, like, you can, if there's a particular boss you want to experience, the game doesn't really stop you. Yeah. For the most part. But it, but you do have to experience all of them, so it, the shortcuts are a little weird, right? This is the only time I actually benefited from the shortcut. Like, mm. the only time in a game I think you can actually benefit from the shortcut, other than that one character giving you a coin because you discovered the shortcut. Yeah, I agree. It's sort of... Ludwig's been filling your mugs with his less is more travel, eh? Keep talking to that fool, and soon enough... Will sound will sound right to you. Don't say I didn't warn you. All right, all right. So, what you're saying is, instead of just talking to these characters once, I should go back and maybe maybe talk to them again, huh? And they're conveniently put pretty close to each other too. Mm. My friend Wolfgang warned me about he warned you about me, didn't he? I thought he might, and he was right to do so. Not everyone prefers to hear what I have to share. Hmm. And then after that, you're like, okay, I guess I'm done. Or maybe not. It does sort of sound con con conclusive. But, it does. But, I mean, even at this point, the player's going to be like, well, what was the point of that? Mm -hmm. So it, it sort of leaves you being like, there's got to be more. There's also a, a good thing to keep in mind. There's a boss in between these two guys. So if I talk to the mm. first one, he's like, go talk to that other guy. And then you go fight the boss. And then you talk to this guy. He's like... Yeah, whatever. That guy's stupid, and you're, like the player might just be like, okay, mm -hmm. like right, they're, right. They're They've arguing, bickering lost. back and forth because they forgot they have lost that train of communication. Mm -hmm. Instead, what did I tell you about talking with that minimalist buffoon? Less is more. Bah! Once again, 
So I like that experimental laboratory that it has like the smokestack like broken off and bandaged to the side. I love it. <laughs> you came back. I suspected you might. I can tell you have an appreciation for true art. Behold my minimalist masterpiece. Same song, just one piano. <laughs> but, I mean, like, the users are going to appreciate it a lot more because they can really hear it. But yeah, it's, uh, <laughs> I'd like, first thing, I, like, I discovered, I talked to him and immediately was driven, like, see if they to find a secret area. That's kind of fun. I dig that. This is a fun reward, too. I mean, it, does it end there? Um, if you go and talk to him, I think you change it back to the other one. <laughs> well, that was awful. <laughs> so change the music back before your ears turn to jelly. So for the sake of going uh, against yeah. convention, we're gonna, it's, we're gonna go. You know, and it's such a little reward, but I, I feel like if you were poking and prodding like that, and you didn't really know what to expect out of it, that's a really fun reward that, you know, you may not have even really expected, but yet it has perfect context. Yeah. They're bickering about music. Of course it's going to change the music. It's kind of fun. So, uh, where are we at? We are over by a minute and a half, so cool. we'll do the ship in the next episode. Yeah. We can be beating a boss in one, minute, one, one episode. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, actually, we didn't struggle with that one as much. That one's... that that The bees always interest me. I find her so... Like, she just... That's where things start getting a little arcane and strange. Mm. I mean, so maybe that's the question is, how have they they sort of introduced the subtle theming through the characters? Mm. We, we kind of picked up on some sort of occult thing going on. Um, so maybe how has that showcased, like, been present in other parts of the game? Or maybe are there other things going on that we haven't really yeah, talked about? I guess just overall, what undertones are they utilizing? And what do you think it all means? Yeah. Game theory. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Thank you for watching. Bye.